Okay, so a big part of knowing if your optimization is even working is being able to use Google Analytics to track your user behavior, to understand when people are going to your pages, how long they're there for, what page they went to after, what page they were on before. You can learn all kinds of juicy data for free okay, if you have an analytics account. Now, it's worth two points on your project to have this plugin installed. So if I go to my plugins, you'll see, and this is what I'm going to be looking for. Like, this is how you're going to get your two points. I'm going into my plugins, just like I'm going to go into your plugins on your site, and I see some security plugins, newsletter, social media. I don't, I don't see the Google Analytics plugin. So you would not get these two marks, which are literally coming from just installing a plugin. So you need to go and search plugins, search for Google Analytics, and it's the first one that comes up. Okay, it's a standard analytics plugin. I spell that right. Yeah. Okay, it's right here. It's called Google Analytics. You can see it's been downloaded over a million times. Um, there are some other ones. This one's pretty good too. In fact, that one's reviewed even better. Um, you know, I, I haven't had a chance to really get into this heavily with WordPress yet because I've only had a couple WordPress sites and I'm teaching this stuff all the time, so it's hard. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this one here, okay? And I don't care which one you have, as long as you demonstrate to me that you got one, you know my, my, uh, my kind of best practice for choosing plugins, which is here. Okay, it's not pulling up the preview. I wanted to show you guys the preview. Let's just install it. Which is to look at the one, to find the one with the, that's most recently updated that has the best reviews. This one clearly had a lot of uh, good reviews, and it was updated, I think it was just this week. We can go back and look. Um, here. Uh, 18 hours ago. So that's pretty good. Okay, you want this to be updated often. Plugins like this, especially this, should not be messing up your theme. I mean, if this continues to happen, and this is what you'd have to deal with in the real world, like get a good theme. Like, stop messing around with your old free theme and just get some. It, you know, even if, if you just simply cannot spend like $20 to $50 on a theme, even though you're launching this in the real world, go and use the WordPress 2014 theme. Then you know you're using at least something that's updated. So, in my installed plugins, then I have now a Google Analytics plugin. Um, where did it go? There it is, right there. And I'm going to be looking that you guys have installed an analytics plugin for your dashboard. Now, the way these plugins work, if you go into the settings, and this one does, of course, have its own, uh, its own dashboard, too. Um, so you can clear anything that's been in there already. You'd have to go to authorize the plugin, and to get this access code, you need to set up an analytics account. All right, so I have an analytics account. Do you know where the code is? I can go through this with you. Do you want me to show you? Okay, so here. Okay, so I'm logged into my Google account here, and this is the Google account that I have that actually has accounts. So if I were to go, I logged into Google, I went to analytics. You guys know how to do this because you're taking a course on analytics, but what you don't know how to do is get this code so you can start tracking your own stuff. So you would go in and set up an account, and then you have, you have accounts here. You can have different folders. You can have different sites that you're tracking all within the same account. You don't have to have separate accounts for every site. So you go to the domain, the main domain that you're tracking, and there's one code for this domain. And when you click on it, you go to admin, and under admin, right there in front of me, which, which it is in a different place now, they keep moving it, but it's right here, tracking info, tracking code. You take the code, and right here, okay, and you put this into the plugin. So, in an HTML site, this code would go into the head of every HTML document. Of course, with WordPress, the plugin will do that for you. Okay, so I'm not gonna, well, I could just test it to make sure it works. So if I were to go in here and go back to my dashboard and put the code in there. So you might have to take it, um, you might have to take it without the script code. So you might just take the, like, it probably doesn't need the, um, it's automatically copying the whole thing. It probably doesn't need the script 
uh, tag. It just needs what's inside of it. And if that doesn't work, we'll just go to the tutorial and it'll tell us how to put it in there. So, yeah, that, well, no, see, it's not. Okay, hang on a second. I know what they're looking for. They're probably looking for the actual ID for this account. And then that will directly connect. So if, you, if they need the ID for the account, that would be under here, right there, tracking ID. So sorry, that's, you know, as I said, I haven't used this a lot with WordPress. I would usually take that code and you put it into the head of your HTML. If WordPress is going to do that for you via this plugin, that tracking ID, let's see if it saves it. Yeah, okay. So that tracking ID should, should be put in there and then it'll be authorized. So you should watch the video and read this tutorial before proceeding to authorization. So as usual, like most good plugins, this one walks you through the whole process of how this is set up. So, um, but I'm glad I went through both of those because you could see the difference. Like if I go to admin, if I have an HTML site, you guys may crank out some quick like one-off HTML sites. Like this is the code that you need in that page, in the head. Okay, if you're using the plugin, and that was actually right here, right above the code. Okay, the tracking ID is sitting right there. So I didn't see it there. Yeah. And when you don't go to the analytics platform, at least, honestly, guys, like once a week, like it, you lose it. You really do. Like I used to use analytics on a daily basis. I haven't been there in five or six months, and I was sitting there searching around for code and trying to figure out what the tracking ID is to put in the plugin, just simply because I've been teaching and I haven't been using it. It's, it changes that rapidly. So you have to stay on top of this stuff. Um, it's very important that you're using this. Uh, in terms of the final project, I'm only giving you the two points just for having the plugin installed. But again, even though I'm not grading you on this stuff, I need to go through and make sure you understand how to get this working. Okay, as soon as you connect that, everything you've learned in Megan's course about analytics and all the kind of processes and walking through the platform and gener you guys have generated all different types of reports and made recommendations on these. All that works exactly the same. You just need to be able to make sure this is connected to your analytics plugin. Okay.